Israel's blockade on the Gaza Strip has made it nearly impossible for local Palestinian fishermen to make a living these days. Although Israel extended the fishing zone to nine nautical miles in April, fishermen are barred from fishing beyond six nautical miles from their coastline. <laughs> for many here in Gaza, seafood, and especially prim fish, is a basic meal. But Gaza is no longer rich in fish as it used to be, due to Israel's maritime siege. And the majority of people are now reluctant to pay the high prices. The appetite for local fish, however, has prompted the opening of a few private fish farms. They attempt to supply local markets with another source of fish at affordable prices. There is increasing demand for farm fish in Gaza because it's less expensive, but saltwater fish remains the best. People resort to farm-raised fish because of Israeli restrictions imposed on fishing in Gaza. Yasser Mahmoud al Hajj is the owner of Al Bahar, one of the most successful of four fish farms in Gaza since 2014. He has invested about $1.2 million in establishing his project. The farm sits on a small rise above a beach and looks out over the front line of the Mediterranean Sea. Alongside its restaurant and aquarium, Al Bahar also has a playground which attracts picnickers from all over Gaza. Despite the success of his project, Al Hajj says that his business faces mounting costs as he has to buy the required seeds and fish food from Israel twice a week. The farm produces 120,000 kilograms of bream a year which he sells to his private customers, but this falls well short of the amount needed to supply commercial dealers. We buy a gram and a half of fish fry and eggs from El Qudari in Israel. The fish are fed and sold once they reach 400 to 500 grams. Israel's policies against fishermen, who are chased away from fish-rich areas, have prompted the opening of these types of projects. All the farms in Gaza are met with other challenges resulting from Hamas rule, mainly the constant power outages, which can last up to 12 hours per day. The owners of the farms have to keep backup generators to oxygenate the tanks and keep their fish alive. Hoping to end Gaza's reliance on imports from Israel, fish farms seem to have learned an important lesson from a historical Chinese proverb, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day, teach a man to fish and feed him for a lifetime. Noharazin CCTV, Gaza.